Hi, everyone. Mark Lichtenfeld, Chief Income Strategist with the Oxford Club. You know, I'm getting tons of questions and emails these days asking, should you buy the most beaten up stocks in the market? No. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll like and subscribe. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it, it's really a case by case basis. Let's take a look at some of the most beaten up stocks and sectors. So we have oil gas drilling, which fell 59% since the February 19th market high. We have department stores down 57%, airlines down 54%. So let's take a look at a few of the companies that are the most beaten up in some of these sectors. So we'll start off with Apache. They're an oil and gas driller. Now they have $242 million in cash, but nearly $9 billion in debt. It has lost money uh, last year. And what's gonna happen this year when revenue is even lower because of lower oil prices? Oil is in the toilet right now as far as the price because of a price war between Russia and the OPEC states. Now Apache fell 87% from the highs to the recent lows, it's rebounded a bit and it's now only down 77%. Does that make a buy? If you look at the financials, I would say no. Let's move on to a, a very high profile company that's really been beaten up and that's Carnival Corp, the cruise line company. They fell 82% from the market high on February 19th and now is down 72% now. Carnival is a li little more interesting, I think, than Apache because its balance sheet is actually pretty healthy but last year it was barely cash flow positive. It generated $5.48 billion in operating cash flow, but once you subtract the money that's spent on capital expenditures, it only generated $30 million in free cash flow. That's not a lot of money for such a large company. So again, what happens this year now that the cruises aren't running and people might not be so quick to return to cruises. I was actually talking to my mom last year who loves taking cruises and she said, I'm not getting on a boat anytime soon. And it's not not just because of the uh, possibility of getting sick on the boat, but we've seen these ships get stranded at sea because no one will let them back into port if people do get sick. So I think for a lot of cruisers, it's gonna be a little scary to get back on a cruise anytime soon. Now going over to the department stores, Macy's, whose stock has been a dumpster fire for the past five years, actually generated half a billion dollars in cash flow last year, but that's when its stores were open. None of its stores are open right now. You can still shop online, but you cannot physically go into a Macy's store. So that's gonna be very, very tough to rebound from, especially when it wasn't doing great before. Its CFO also just very suddenly up and quit. The stock is down 63% now, was down 73% from uh, peak to trough, from the high to the low. Uh, Macy's has so many problems right now, I don't think you buy it just because it's a bargain. Now, United Airlines and the airline industry, I think that's a little bit of a different story. It's the second largest airline in the United States. It generated $2.4 billion in free cash flow last year. Uh, you've got oil prices, which are very low, and jet fuel is one of the biggest costs for airlines. So once it does come back online and people start traveling again, if oil prices are low, uh, one of its biggest expenses should be reduced significantly. And importantly, the government is bailing out the airline industry. Right? So there's a, a, a backstop there. It's a, it's a critical part of our infrastructure. So when I look at United Airlines and I see that the price is down 66% from the highs on February 19th, I look and I think, is United Airlines really worth just one third of what it was two months ago? Uh, and, and looking at preliminarily at the financials, I'd have to say, no, this is a company that's worth a lot. If, if you thought that the valuation was somewhat fair February 19th, two months ago, then at one third, it's, it's a bargain. So I think United is one of those companies that may be worth a shot uh, at these low prices. But you know, again, keep in mind, every situation is different. So you can't just go in and say, look at all these stocks that are beaten up, I'm gonna buy them because they're on sale. They're half the price that they were just a few weeks or a few months ago. I think you really have to look at it on a case by case basis, look at the financials, look at the potential for it to come back once things start to open up again, because not everything is going to come back. I think a store like Macy's, 
uh, and there's some other companies out there are not going to have their customers streaming through their doors the minute we get the green light that we can go back out and live our lives. So you really have to look at it on a case by case basis. But that being said, there are some bargains out there. Some of these companies will come back and they are cheap right now. So I actually want to know what you're doing about stocks right now. Are you buying stocks or are you waiting for maybe more of a sign that we have bought them? So do me a favor, take this one second poll. Just give us a quick answer. Are you buying now or are you waiting? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also, if there's anything that you would like me to cover in the state of the market videos, please leave your thoughts, your feedback, your suggestions in our comments section. And don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, and we would love to get over that 2,000 uh, subscriber mark in, uh, in a week or so. So please tell your friends, tell your family, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on State of the Market. Thanks for watching.